What level of education is needed for this career? I'm an elementary school principal at Wylandville Elementary School in the Cannon McMillan School District. And you have to have, to be the principal of a school, you have to have been a, an elementary school teacher, if you're at the elementary level, and you have to go back for your master's degree in educational leadership. Okay. What school subjects helped you most in this job? In this job, public speaking helps you because you have to talk in front of groups and be around a lot of people. Reading is definitely something that you have to know from school. And math as well because you have to do budgets and different things like that. So really almost any school subject is really important for this job. And you have to have gym class too because I'm always on the go. <laughs> what is the hardest part of being a principal? The hardest part of being a principal is um, whenever you have to make decisions about something and sometimes things you're not sure if, it, if you're making the right decision so you have to hear from all different people and different sides and then make a, de a determination about what the right thing to do is. So I think that's hard sometimes. When did you start working at Lylandville? I've been at Wylandville about five years, and before that, I was the principal at First Street Elementary School, which closed and it now has students that go to Muse Elementary. So I've been at Wylandville for five years. That was the next question. Where did you work before Wylandville? Oh, <laughs> before Wylandville, I was at First Street Elementary School. What is one of the was one activity you you do at this job? One activity that I do is supervise classrooms. So I'll have to go and do observations and check on kids and make sure that, that everybody in the school is learning. What skills are helpful for you doing your job well? Well, for my job, you have to be able to talk to people and you have to really like kids and because you spend a lot of time with a lot of kids. So being good with children and spending time with them is important. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thanks for the interview. I appreciated it. You're welcome. So, Ms. Hoffman, what is the best part of your job? The best part of my job is getting to work with kids and getting to help kids and make sure that everyone is in control of their really big feelings. Okay. Um, so tell us about what a education you need for this job. So to be a school counselor, you need a master's degree in school counseling, and you have to take a praxis test, which is like you guys are taking the PSSAs. Mm -hmm. It's like that, but it's all kinds of questions about being a school counselor. Okay, cool. Um, what sorts of challenges do you face? Every day when I walk in, it's a brand new day. I have no idea what is going to be affecting kids today. Um, I can have my schedule totally set and someone has a crisis or an emergency and they need my help so I have to stop what I'm doing and it's a lot of rescheduling because people who are in crisis need help quicker than me coming in and teaching a lesson to your class. Yeah, okay, so on an average day how many kids do you see? On an average day I see probably hmm, maybe 20 kids a day. I see a couple small groups every day and um, when I do my classroom lessons, I see eight classrooms each day for a whole week. Oh, wow. So that's eight times maybe 25 kids. That's like 200 kids in a day. Um, but on a regular day, I will have my groups in the morning, my groups before lunch, my groups after lunch, my groups at the end of the day, and then a couple of individual kids here and there that I need to check in with. Okay. That's good. So those are all the questions I wanted to ask. Okay, you. good. Thank you. You're welcome. What is your schedule? My schedule is different every day. Um, I try to see kids at 9 o'clock every day, my groups, um, because you're usually just doing your morning work, so I can, it's a free time for me to pull kids. And then I see individual kids throughout the day. I have a lot of meetings and different parts of the school that I'm involved with. Um, I have lunch duty every day, and then I usually pull a group after lunch, see a couple kids here and there in the afternoon, and then I have a group at the end of the day, too. Do you have any? Do you have a routine for the day? I do. I like to get a lot of my work done in the morning. I'm a morning person, so once I stop for lunch, 
I have a hard time get going again. So I try to make my mornings pretty beefy. And then my afternoons are saved for either making up with kids who I didn't get to see because something else came up um, or catching up on phone calls, things like that. How do you pick how did how did you pick your job and what do you like about it? I like everything about it. So I have been a music teacher with Canon McMillan for 15 years. This is my 16th year and my first year as a school counselor. Um, I picked it because as a music teacher, I found that I was really connecting with the kids, but it's really hard to try to get them to handle their feelings when I have to teach them about music. So this was a nice opportunity for me to be able to help kids in a different way. And I really like everything about being a school counselor. It's the perfect job for me. Okay. What made you pick this job? I picked this job because I really like helping kids. And as a music teacher, which is what I did for 15 years before this, I didn't get to help kids one-on-one. -on -one and while I got to teach them music, I didn't get to talk about feelings too much. Okay. How long have you been a school counselor? This is my first year as a school counselor. But like I said, I've been with the district for 15 years teaching music. Oh, that's nice. What is your day like from beginning to end? My day is never the same twice. I try to run a group at 9 o'clock every day because that's when people are doing their morning work. And then all kinds of things come up. Sometimes I have to do testing. Sometimes people are in crisis and I have to take care of kids who are having a major big feelings. Um, other times uh, it's just kind of checking in with some kids who need to see me. And then I have lunch duty, and then at the end of the day, I run another set of groups. Wow, busy. I am. Um, do you have meetings in the summer? I don't have to work in the summer. Okay. And what is the hardest or most complicated part of your job? The hardest or most complicated part of my job is that I had to learn everything right away. Because if there's someone in crisis or someone having big feelings, you don't get to practice on the first kid and then get it right with the second kid. Is this your favorite job you've had? Absolutely. I love this job. It's been amazing. How do you stay patient on hard days? Oh, that's a good one. Um, take some deep breaths, just like I would tell you to do if you were having a hard day. Um, maybe go for a quick walk or look at pictures of my kids. Try to kind of remember that not every day is always going to be this hard. How would you describe your job to someone that is just learning about it? That's a really good question. My job is all about helping others. So it would be like Harper, the helper. Um, sometimes I'm in classrooms. Sometimes I'm working with small groups. And sometimes I see kids one-on-one. -on -one. And how long did it take for you to get this job? So it takes a master's degree. So to get a master's degree, I went to school for four years, to college for four years, to get a music education degree. And then I was teaching, and I thought how I would like to make more of a difference. So I went back to school as a grown-up, uh, part-time, getting my master's in school counseling. And then it took me, I think I graduated in 2017, and I've just been waiting for something to open up. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Can you tell us your name and job title? Sure, it's Mrs. Diane Edwards, and I am the secretary of Wylandville Elementary School. What's your favorite part of your job? Definitely being with the students. Mm -hmm. I love to watch the students and be involved with them. How many jobs do you have on a daily basis? Oh my, multitasking is my whole job. So I can't give you a number, but I can tell you that by the end of the day, they all come together. <laughs> <laughs> what other jobs do you have? Well, I keep track of attendance. I keep track of um, report cards. I keep track of bus schedules. So many things that I do. And right now, we have a state testing going on. Mm -hmm. So I'm helping Mrs. Balch with hers and getting everything organized for that. And she's excellent at that. She makes it fun to do my job. <laughs> What's the hardest part of your job? Sometimes saying no. <laughs> Sometimes when I have students come in and ask for things, 
I have to say no because I can't help them with whatever they have. So we always find someone that can help them. Do you work with anyone else? If so, who? I work with all of the teachers, but I don't have another job other than here. When I go home, I help my husband. He works for another corporation on the side, so I help him with what his needs are. But I don't have another job title. <laughs> How many years did you work here? Oh, this will be number 15, 14.7 or something like that. <laughs> what education did you have to do to be a secretary? Formal education, I have taken a couple of computer classes. I don't have an education title, but I do have a college degree. It's just in something else, and all of the related classes that I took enabled me to be able to do what I do. Do you buy desks, chairs, and more for the building? Oh my, yes. And picking out exactly what I need, that can be a fun thing. But I do a lot of that. What is one tool or piece of equipment that the presenter uses? I have computers that I'm on a lot most of the day. And I also have a system that opens and closes the doors, so I make sure that everyone who enters the building is safe. Why did you choose this career? Be in the very beginning, it was because I liked the hours, because my boys, who are grown now, were in school. And I was able to have some time off with them. Now, I come extra time, I just love being here. Did you go to college? I did go to college, I have a degree, yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your time. Sure, I love spending the time with you, and these questions are such good questions. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yes, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Mrs. Galvin. What's your job? I'm a speech-language pathologist for Cannon McMillan School District. Do you like your job? I absolutely love my job. It makes me so excited to come here every day. When was your first day of your job? I started at Cannon McMillan School District in September of 2014. What's your favorite part of your job? The children. You guys are just so much fun. You're always happy. Um, you keep us on our toes, so it's never the same day. I have a new exciting day each day I walk in the door. How many kids do you get a day? It depends. Um, depends what school I'm at as well, because I have different caseloads, but anywhere from, I'd say, 10 to 20 a day. Depends if it's individual or group sessions with the kids. Where did you go to college? I did my undergraduate degree at West Virginia University, and I went to graduate school at Pitt. What made you want to be a speech therapist? Um, I just liked, I'm a talker, so I do like to communicate a lot, and I wanted to be able to help others in like a direct way and work one-on-one -on -one or in group settings with people, so especially kids, too. I learned that through a couple different jobs that I had that I really wanted to work with children. How long have you been a speech therapist? I've been a speech therapist 10 years now. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for the interview. I appreciate it. What is your favorite thing about your job? I like that every day is different. I have no two days that are the same. Is there anything you don't like about your job? This is an easy one. I don't like all the paperwork. <laughs> what do you like about your job? I love working with kids. I think you guys are fun. Yeah, you keep it very young. Um, you keep us on our toes, so I enjoy that. What sound do you like teaching the most? Ah, tricky one. I like the TH sound. I think it's one of the easier ones to teach and to see. So, Do you have a least favorite sound to teach? Mm. What do you think my least favorite sound is? S. Ah, close. It's R's. They're not one of the hardest sounds to teach. That's what I had. <laughs> All right, thank you. Can you tell us your name and job title? Yes, my name is Dana Flaherty, and I am a paraeducator at Wyland Bell Elementary. Why did you choose this career? Um, back in 2006, I got involved in therapeutic horseback riding and started working with kids with disabilities, and I really, really loved it. And when my son William came here to kindergarten back in 2014, it was hard for me to work in Pittsburgh and come pick him up. So I started subbing in the school and just really, really loved working with the kids. And here we are today. What is your favorite cartoon character? Oh, that's a tough one. I think my favorite cat cartoon character has to be Velma from Scooby-Doo. What is your favorite food? 
My favorite food is chocolate. What's your favorite book series? I like the Harry Potter book series. I think that's one of my favorites. What skills helped you accomplish this job? Um, I think just being around kids a lot throughout my whole life and babysitting as a, as a teenager and having my own kids and also learning to be very, very patient. When did you start this job? I started working for the school in 2014. What is your favorite part about this job? The kids. The kids are my favorite part. Which people helped you and supported you throughout this job? Oh, the principals. I was at NSIS first, and Mr. Abedanza really helped, and the other paraeducators there. Um, Ms. LaRusso helped me when I was a sub. Um, Ms. Elena, who's another para, and all the teachers and paras here. In this job, what are you passionate about? I think I'm passionate about making a difference to kids who need someone to really cheer them on. I think that's my passion. <laughs> do you enjoy this job? And if you do, what do you enjoy about it? I do enjoy this job. I enjoy getting to meet all the different kids and to watch you guys grow from kindergarten all the way up through fourth grade. It's really fun. What is your favorite part about your job? The kids. The kids are definitely my favorite part of the job. How many kids do you see per day? Um, right now, I see about five a day. So sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. What do you do for your job? I help students that need assistance in their academics or in their behavior or some students who have disabilities so they can't do certain things, so we help them do those things. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. What kind of education do you need to become a nurse? I went to college and went to nursing school. Why did you become a nurse? I wanted to help and care for people. How many kids do you see in a week? Um, about 30 to 40, depending on, it depends. Okay, um, what is your favorite part of your job? My favorite part of the job is um, I love being a school nurse because I love being in a school with students and caring for all of you. Okay. What do you like about what do you like least about your job? I'll tell you what I do like least about my job. Probably are the uh, dental paper um, exams that we do. It's the paper paperwork for those that I have to do. That's probably my least favorite. Do you have any other responsibilities besides dealing with sick kids? I do. I have to do all the screenings for kindergarten up to fourth grade, hearing, vision, height, and weight. I have to make sure all the medication um, is in order and, you know, they're just so, the paperwork that goes with it um, are just right. And I have to um, make sure all the immunizations and health issues that the students have um, are accessible to the teachers and so they know how to care for their students as well as I do. Did you, did you always want to become a nurse? Yes. What is the strangest thing you saw while being a nurse? The strangest thing that I saw while being a nurse was years ago when I first started, um, there was a student who said that their ear hurt and I, look to see and the student had stuck paper construction paper in his ear and it was green so when it pulled out that was the strangest thing what is the hardest part of being a nurse wow that's that's a good question um the hardest part of being a nurse i would say is just making sure that everything, because when you're caring for people, you have to make sure that the medications are right. You have to make sure that you're caring for each student's needs and knowing their health issues. 
and um, just being on top of it. What advice would you give to someone who is thinking about becoming a nurse? I, I would encourage them to, um, to go. Um, there are so many options that you can be. You can be a school nurse, you can be an ER nurse, you can be an OR nurse. You can be a lot of different, it can take you many different ways. So it's a good career choice. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for interviewing me. Can you tell us your name and your job title? So my name is uh, Logan Radicke. Uh Kids here at Wylandville call me Officer Logan. And I am the school resource officer for Wylandville Elementary School from North Strabane Township Police Department. What skills are helpful, helpful for doing your job well? So I believe one of the most important skills that I need to have is to be able to communicate with uh, staff and students um, to make them feel safe in the school and also to be able to teach them lessons about uh, drugs and Alice drills, which uh, also keeps our uh, students and faculty safe. What is one thing you wish kids knew about this career? Uh, I wish kids knew that we are just like regular people, uh, that we put our pants on the same way every morning, it's the same as they do. Um, we are uh, obviously special in a way because we get a uh, type of schooling, but other than that, um, if you have a good mindset and if you have uh, a good um, background, you can become a police officer. What is the hardest part of being a police officer? Uh, so the hardest part of being a police officer um, is being on the road or on patrol. Um, I, I give my hats off to those guys. They're constantly rotating shifts um, and doing doing the active work of policing. Um, my role here at the school is pretty easy. It's uh, to build relationships and communicate with kids. Um, so since I came here, my job has been pretty easy. What is your favorite part of your job? Uh, the favorite part of my job is to uh, make somebody's day every day. So um, somebody could be in a bad mood, and them seeing my smiling face and just having a conversation with me uh, makes their day. When did you start being a school police officer? So I started being a school police officer um, this February was five years. What do you do on a daily so on a daily basis, um, when I first get here, I secure the doors as the kids walk in. Um, then I check all the doors and make sure that they're locked and secure. Um, then I will uh, sometimes teach classes, whether it be Alice or Too Good for Drugs. And then the other part of my day is just building relationships with everyone in the building. Where did you work before you became a police officer? So I actually worked uh, for the active duty military, for the Air Force. Um, I was considered what they call an AGR, which is Active Guard Reserve. Um, I did that for a total of six years uh, after my deployment to Afghanistan. What school subject helped you the most in your job? So the school subject that helped me most in, the, in this job was definitely uh, English. Um, with being a police officer, it's important to know how to write a good report. Um, also, to be able to communicate with people is a huge part of uh, being a police officer. Making them understand what you're trying to get them to do um, is very important. What do you like best about your job? So, I enjoy coming to work um, and seeing the smiling face of kids and uh, building a relationship and being able to um, go back to parts of myself uh, of being a kid, like playing kickball and just having a good time. What training did you need for your career? So for my career, a lot of people um, misjudge and think that we have to go to college and get a criminal justice degree. That's actually not true. Um, right after high school, you can apply for the Act 120 program. Uh, once you have that piece of paper in your hand, um, you are a certified law enforcement officer uh, after you take the test in Harrisburg. Um, then you can apply for a police job. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Can you tell us your name, job title, and what company you work for? My name is Alicia Patton. My title is a second grade teacher at Cannon McMillan School District. What level of education is needed for this career? You have to have a Bachelor of Arts degree in education and then you can further your career if you would like, but it's not 100% necessary. What do you like best about your job? Teaching the kids, of course. Tell us two things you do at work. At work, my job is to make sure that everything a second grader needs to learn by the end of the school year, they have learned it. And my job at work also is to grade all of the papers that show me that they're learning what I'm teaching them. 
Why did you choose this career? I originally chose this career because I grew up in a daycare. My mom owned her own daycare and she worked at our house, so I was surrounded by kids all day long. And whenever I went to college at first, I did not go to college to be a teacher. I went to college to do something else and I realized how much I missed the kids. So I switched my career path and here I am. What is one tool or piece of equipment that you use in your job? A pen. <laughs> <clears throat> how long have you been teaching for? This is my 20th year as a school teacher, and I've been in the Cannon Mac School District for 18 years. Why did you want to start teaching? Because I missed the kids. <laughs> At what age did you want to start teaching? I didn't make that decision until I was 22, I think. Did you go to college? I did go to college. I graduated from Waynesburg College. Do you have kids? I do, I have four kids of my own. Do you think your students are the best students you have? Of course they are, but next year those students will be the best students and last year those students were the best students. <laughs> Thank you for your time. You're very welcome, Zoe. Thank you for asking me to participate. <laughs>